Yes, hi and hello everyone. Welcome back once again to our channel Vage Academy of Mathematics. And here this playlist is for class 11 CBSC Applied Max and we were seeing the topic calendars for the past previous sessions. So we have already completed chapter 1 and 2 and this is the continuation part. So here this is chapter 3 of calendars and here we are going to work out some few important very frequently repeated problems okay so that is what here we are going to solve here in this chapter so our chapter i've named it for clear identity so it is going to be of same date but different year so what happens if you get a question like stating you have some date is given but you are asked to find the day of the week for a different year such problems are what we are going to work out here in this section so yes come let's start so we'll just go get into the question first so our question is given november 14 of 2020 is a saturday so it's given that november 14 of the year 2020 it's a given it's given to be a saturday then which of the day of which day of the week is going to be the same november 14 see remember it we have the same date okay so it's given uh, given date is november 14 and we are asked to find the the, the question is again about the same date november 14 of we see the question here we have different years okay so we have different years given but the date is going to be the same and our task is to find which day i mean these dates are going to fall on which day that's what we are going to find here so for all these different years we have to find so that is what we are going to do here that is what our task assigned task for this session okay so but before that well, let's just try to revise what are all the things we have seen in the previous session so previous session we have seen very important thing that yes for an ordinary year you have one odd day and for a leap year you have got two odd days right okay that's what we have to very strongly remember why because this concept is what we are going to use here for today's sessions problems okay that's why yes for an ordinary year you have got 365 days so that means if you are going to pass or cross 365 days that means you are going to consider it to be one odd day and for a leap year leap year in the sense you have got totally 366 days 366 days you have got two odd days okay so using this concept is what we are going to solve the problems and that too very precisely one more important thing you have to note here what is that important notice see here that's what i've just mentioned here so the important note is crossing the date february 29 this point is really really important why because whether we are crossing that february 99 or not that only matters how we are going to take these odd days okay yes fine so with this knowledge with this concept let's try to solve our question which is given to us so yes yeah so i'm going to start here so first of all we'll just note what is given to us so we are given november 14 of 2020 is a saturday right so the date is not going to affect anyways we have the same date for all these questions so i'm just mentioning only the years here okay yes all right so for the year 2020 november 14 the year 2020 it is given to be a saturday so let's just note it okay yes fine yeah okay yes and now we are going to find what day of the week it will be for the other years okay we have 2021 20, 2022 2024 20, 2027 20, this we will take it to be group one and we have other set of years where we have 2019 2017 2015 and 2014 this let's take it to be group two okay yes why because these are all the years that will be coming in the future okay that means we have to travel to the future and this second set of years these are the years that we had in the past okay so that is going to be a second group i'm just maintaining it in the separate column okay i've just maintained two different columns why to just note that these are all the years which are from future and these are from past that's why okay yes all right and also i've listed all the years in the ascending order here all the years i've just taken here we are going to move like this in the descending order okay from bottom to top and here top to bottom that's how we are going to move okay and very importantly here itself let's just mark the leap years that would be very better for us to follow the calculation that's why okay so for example take this list here we very well know that this year 2020 is a leap year okay i'm just giving a red mark here just to mention that or just to identify that it's a leap year that's why okay why because for this year you would have february 29 days that's why 
and what next year you will have your leap year so it's going to be this 2024 so here also i'll just make a red mark mentioning that 2024 is also a leap year and no other years okay so only these two years you have happened to be leap years okay yes fine so come to this list here again we have 2020 to be a leap year i'm just marking it and next before 2020 we have 2016 to be another leap year that also i'm just marking here itself okay fine done half the way we are uh, we are just completing the answers yes we are very much closer to the answers now it's going to be very very easy for us so 2020 we know that our date is saturday shall we continue now yes so now 2020 november 14 we need to find 2021's november 14 that's what we need right yes so my task is i know that 2020 november 14 of 2020 is a saturday and i need to find 2021's november 14 is going to be which day this is my task okay just think of from 2020 november 14 to 2021 november 14 so you are going to pass exactly one year so will you be crossing february with 29 days or 28 days this is my question just understand it properly so here I am going to consider this 2020 is November, November 14 and I am going to move to the future 2021 is November 14. This is my task. So while doing so, just think of we will definitely have a situation to cross February also. Which February? 2021 is February. Will you be having that February with 28 days or 29 days? Just think of. It's very clear. It's an ordinary year, right? In that case, you would have only 28 days. So that means you must consider this to be just one odd day. This is what I told in the initial itself, in the beginning itself. Okay, right? So when you're just about to cross like this, when you're just about to travel like this one year, so you just be very sure with whether you are crossing Feb 29 or Feb 28 alone. So here we are just crossing Feb 28 only. Why? Because this year is an ordinary year. In that case, there won't be Feb 29 there. So in that case, here you will have only 365 days crossing. And so you will happen to cross only one odd day. So in that case, my answer for this one, 2021 November 14 will be just one odd day ahead. So Saturday plus one day, it would be just Sunday. I hope you are clear with this. Is the point clear? So I can just move just one, one only one day. That is enough. Same way, 2021. I'm going to 2022. So 2021 is November 14. It's a Sunday. And 2022 is November 14. We have to move on. For which one should be done? The same thing. Okay. While moving so, it is again going to be a same way. Like how we did here. Right. Here also, we are going to cross this February of 2022. But again, there you will happen to get only 28 days. So in that case, it's again going to be plus one only okay i'll just mark it plus one so here again it is going to be plus one so sunday plus one you would end up with monday so 2022 uh, november 14 would be a monday okay yes and next 2022 is november 2 2023 is november here again what happens so here also you will happen to have only one odd day so you will monday you will be getting monday plus one to be a tuesday all right yes yeah fine now next part here is what we should be very careful now 2023 is november 2 we are going to move on to 2024 november now here what happens just carefully think of so in this moving process when you are going to future for one year from 2023 to 2024 here definitely you would be crossing that february of 2024 but here the thing is here you will have this february with 29 days is it, is it or not correct why because this 2024 is a leap year in that case you will be having february with 29 days and in that case here when you do so when you move like this you will have 366 days to be covered up and that means you will have two odd days so that means here you will have plus two and so you would bet you would be getting thursday to be 2024 november 14 remember that carefully all right yes shall we continue 2024 to 2025 it's going to be just one day so i can do plus one so i will have thursday plus one which would be a friday and next i will have 2025 november to 2026 november again i will have only 365 days so i can do plus one so this will be friday plus one saturday and uh, yes saturday 
here I have 20, 26 to 20, 27. Again, I will have February with 28 days only. So it's going to be again plus only one odd day. So it's going to be Saturday plus one. It would be a Sunday. So the thing is whether you are crossing Feb 29 or not. If you cross that Feb 29, you should account it to be two odd days. That's the only point you have to carefully remember. See here what we have done here. So 2023 is November to 2024 is November. So while doing so, what happened is here alone, in this situation alone, we happen to have two odd days. That's the reason we added plus two here. So Tuesday plus two, it became Thursday. Okay, that's the only point you have to carefully remember. Or else, if you are crossing that year without Feb 29, if you are just crossing with Feb 28 alone, you should just move on for only one odd day. That's enough. Okay, right? Yes, so I think we have got the answer for all the years of this group one so 2021 the answer is uh, yes it's a sunday that's the first question then 2022 we have it to be a monday then 2024 that's my next question it's a thursday then last 2027 it's a sunday that's all that's the answer for our first group of questions now let's come to the second group so here we have another set of years so again we have november 2022 be a saturday so let's just mark it here it is a saturday but this time we are going to move in the reverse direction but anyways that doesn't matter whether we are moving in the forward or reverse so reverse in the sense we have to do minus calculations that's the only thing only difference we have here but here again the same concept exists what what concept whether we are crossing the feb 29 or not that matters really well okay yes so let's start here so feb I'm sorry, we are at November 14, 2020. Now I have to move on to November 14, 2019. Just think of what happens. So while doing so, while I'm moving the reverse direction, I'm here now at November 14, 2020. I know that it, today is a Saturday. Okay, if in case if this is a Saturday, let's just take it to be a Saturday. It is given to be a Saturday. November 14 of 2020. Now I have to move on to one year to the past so that means 2019th november i have to move while doing so definitely i would have crossed february 29 here is the point clear so in that case we have to consider it to be two odd days so just do minus two i hope the point is clear to you so this year it is a saturday so doing minus two it would be saturday minus two you would be ending up with a thursday i hope the point is clear to you yes fine yeah next is 2019 to 2018 so here you you will be having only feb 28 28 in this february so that means here you would have only minus one here so thursday minus one would be a wednesday so i'm noting it to be a wednesday and 2018 november to 2017 november again you will have only 365 days i mean feb 28 only so again it is going to be minus one only so this time again it is going to be minus one so if it is a minus one you would have wednesday minus one to be a tuesday and next is here again from 2017 november to 2016 november be careful here so you are moving from 2017 november to 10 2016 november so will you be crossing feb 28 or feb 29 here is what students usually they will have a confusion 2017 november to 2016 november there is no problem at all why because you are going to cross 2017 february only is the point clear so 2017 february will have only 28 days in that case it's once again going to be minus one only so tuesday minus one you would have monday so 2016 would be a monday and next is 2016 november to 2015 november now what happens now when you come to move in the reverse direction you would definitely be crossing feb 29 of 2016 in that case it's going to be two odd days moving in the reverse direction so monday minus two you would end up with a saturday because monday two days in the reverse direction you would get sunday then saturday is it or not so saturday it is going to be a saturday yes done and again as usual 2015 november to 2014 november as usual it's going to be just only one odd day so i'm just writing it clearly minus one so saturday minus one you would be getting a friday so it is noting to be a friday that's right okay so yeah that's all we are uh, we are completing all the questions so for the second set of questions our answers are going to be 2019 2019 is a thursday then we have 2017 to be a Tuesday, then 2015 to be a Saturday and 2014 to be a Friday. So these are all the answers for your second set of questions. So I hope you are clear with solving all these problems, how we are doing it and how the way we are calculating it. So it is all based on 
how we are crossing whether we are crossing this fib 90 fib 29 or not if you are crossing that fib 29 you should account it to be two odd days or if you are crossing only fib 28 then account it as then take the calculation to be just crossing one odd day that's all that gives your answer uh, clearly to your questions so this is what we have to strongly remember here okay yes so i hope the problem that we have seen here in today's session is very clear to you and again we'll have a continuation of this chapter in the next chapter okay the calendars topic i mean we'll be having a continuation part we'll have we'll work out some other different varieties of question in our upcoming chapter so chapter 4 see you soon there thank you so much